is a reading for Star Girl, which is activity page 17.3, which you guys can read along with. Activity page 17.3 in the directions say read the story below and answer the questions, which you guys will be answering on the Google Forms. The title is Star Girl. Wow, said Billy Jones. What an awesome ride. Oh no, said Mrs. Jones. I think I'm going to be sick. The Jones family had just come off the Gorgon, the new roller coaster in Mega Adventureland. Billy had enjoyed the ride. His mom had not. She felt dizzy and sick to her stomach. Are you really going to be sick, Mom? Billy asked. He had never seen his mom get sick. Meanwhile, Billy's sister Jen was tapping away at her pocket calculator. I calculate that the g-force of the last plunge was about 3.5 g's, she said. That's three times the force of gravity on the surface of Earth. That's roughly what the astronauts in the space shuttle experienced during re-entry. Billy rolled his eyes. It was just like Jen to make an awesome ride and turn it into a science lesson. Jen was nuts about science, and especially about astronomy. She had read every astronomy book in the school library. She could tell you about the atmosphere of Venus, the rings of Saturn, and the great red spot on Jupiter. She knew why Pluto was no longer counted as a planet. She knew everything about Apollo 11 and the moon landings. She had a big photograph of the first moon landing on her bedroom door, below the photo Jen had written. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Jen's hero was Dr. May Jemison, a female astronaut who went up in the space shuttle. Jen already knew more about astronomy than either of her parents. Mr. and Mrs. Jones wanted to help her learn more, but they were not quite as sure how to do it. That's why Mrs. Jones was so happy when he spotted the flyer. Beth, he called out as he came in. Look at this. It was a blue flyer. Mr. Jones had found it at the bagel shop. It said astronomy camp. Mr. and Mrs. Jones studied the flyer. The camp would be held during the summer on the campus of a college a few hours away. The flyers at the camp was for kids 12 to 17 years old. It's perfect, said Mr. Jones. Mrs. Jones did not reply. A funny look came over her face. What? asked Mr. Jones. He had seen that look before. What's the matter? Jen is only 12, said Mrs. Jones. So, said Mr. Jones. It says right here the camp is for ages 12 to 17. She'll be the youngest one there, said Mrs. Jones. Plus, she's never been away from home before. She might get scared. Oh, nonsense, said Mr. Jones. She'll be fine. This is right up her alley. She's going to love it. Six weeks later, Mr. and Mrs. Jones loaded up the car and drove Jen to astronomy camp. Mrs. Jones was nervous. She bit her fingernails all the way there. The camp director gave a welcome speech. It was a speech designed to make worried moms less worry less. The speech made Mrs. Jones feel better, but she was still worrying when she hugged Jen goodbye. Call me tonight, she said. Promise you will. I will, said Jen. I promise. It was a long ride home. Mrs. Jones cried most of the way. Every so often, she would call out, My baby girl! By the time they got home, the sun had set. Although, if Jen had been there, she would have pointed out the sun does not really rise and set. Earth rotates on its axis, and that's what gives us days and night. Mr. Jones parked the car and opened the door for his wife. Inside, he got her a glass of water and sat her neck to her on the couch. Why hasn't she called? Mrs. Jones said tearfully. Just then, the phone rang. 
Mrs. Jones grabbed the phone. Are you okay? She sobbed. Jen did not hear her mom sobbing. She was too busy describing her first day at camp. It was so fun, she said. First, we learned about comets. Did you know that Halley's Comet is visible from Earth every 76 years? It will come around again in 2061. Then, we learned about galaxies and solar systems. Did you know that there are millions of galaxies in the universe? Our professor, Dr. Phillips, is so cool. He told us that there are probably lots of solar systems out there that are a lot like our galaxy. That means that they have a hot star at the center, like our sun, and some planets orbiting around. Is she okay? asked Mr. Jones. Mrs. Jones nodded. Then she held out the phone. From the earpiece, Jen's voice, overflowing with joy and excitement, drifted out into the air. After lunch, we learned about the Hubble Space Telescope. It's a telescope that floats up in space. Mr. and Mrs. Jones felt a tremendous sense of relief. They knew that their daughter was safe and happy and getting smarter every day. All right, I want you guys to go make sure you go and do your Google quiz and have a great night. Cause every night